Well, let's move on. And up in the north, police officers charged with protecting Kenya from terror and other forms of insecurity have a distressing story to tell. In this season of Remembering Kenya's Encounters with Terrorism, KTN's Sharon Momani brings you the story of Kenya's police officers in the northern border. Dark clouds hung over this police station at the Kenya-Ethiopia border, as if eerily be speaking of doom that would appear to have befallen servicemen here. They are few in number, this often making it impossible for them to combat armed militia. We are human beings like anybody. How do you encounter a force of 100 people who are well armed, armed with all sophisticated weapons? Our force, also despite the fact that we are being trying to arm ourselves, but you cannot match with the kind of arms these people do carry. As if that is not enough, their living condition is wanting. This is what the police officers call home, with makeshift structures which they use as bathrooms and kitchens. You have to get good proper, uh, proper condition, housing conditions. You have to get also what they call the at amenities, the staff morale, promotions, transfers when it is due, when it is due, but that's not happening. Now when you live in this place, you become so desperate and so frustrated. And when push came to shove, the officers turned this water tank into a house. Remember, water too is a scarce commodity here. The officers are disappointed with their authorities. But once maybe something has come up, they just rush to that place and then make a scene out of it. But the real work they're supposed to do is not being done. They're supposed to not monitor the promotion of officers. How is it being done? They're supposed to monitor the uh, transfer of officers. How is it being done? What is the morale of the officers? Who is, who is, who is maybe sleeping on his duty? These unfriendly conditions have seen the officers be less vigilant and effective in carrying out their duty of defending the border. The situation posing further security problems to an already insecure region.